Hello again, <clears throat> back with some more Valiant Thor facts. On August 21st, I'll be doing a live stream from 9.45, starting at 9.45 a.m. So if you guys would like to come and, you know, bring your opinions, ask questions, feel free to ask whatever question. I'll ask, I'll answer it live. On August 21st so now let me briefly talk about because I saw someone trying to do this but you know again I'm not a computer genius so you guys gotta bear with me here and this is to show you again that Frank Ernest Strangers is the man called Valiant Thor as we look right here right you see this line right here this is one line and you see the wavy here going that way right because he said that Valiant Thor had brown wavy hair. Brown wavy hair. He has wavy hair going that way. Remember this line right here, okay? Now, as I go to this Valiant Thor, supposedly, right? Which, of course, it's a young Frank Ernest Stranges. You see the same line right here. The one I've been showing you guys. It's right there, and he has wavy hair pointing the other side, right? So if you can clearly see that, it seems like throughout Frank's entire life, he always, you know, basically combed his hair the same way. The same way throughout all these years. So as you guys can see, that that is a young Frank Ernest Stranges, but uh, again, a lot of you argue the point with me because you say that that's not him. It is him. Now, when you try to examine his entire face, as you can see here, he's gained weight over the years, okay? Common sense, guys, okay? That's what I was telling you guys. A lot of us, as we're younger, we don't look the same as we get older. So, you know, we'll gain a little weight. And obviously... Our appearance somewhat changed, but only weight-wise. But in terms of the same face, you will be the same face. You know, the same features never disappear. So it will still be there. Now, right here in this photograph, you can see he got glasses on, right? And I showed you guys already that in that photograph of the Minnesota where he's at his um class. Right there. He doesn't have glasses, as you guys can see, that's him. Alright, maybe he had contact lenses at that time, but that's him right there. That's Frank Ernest Strangers at the Bible Seminary of Minnesota. And you guys can keep saying that that's not him, that young man sitting at Howard Menger's home, you know, uh, during the uh, UFO alien conference. Okay, because I didn't make this up. I didn't make this picture up and say, oh, well, let me pick a guy that looks exactly like that guy that's sitting in front of Howard Men at Howard Menger's home taking notes. But he's supposed to be some type of Venusian, right? Okay, so let's go back to the photograph. I know you guys see a lot more. Now, if you want to talk about the ear, like, of course, I heard someone say, well... The ear does not match. Yes, it does, because, again, it's the same guy. All right? It's the same guy. Right here, he's gaining weight. He's gained weight, you know? So, see, as you can see, his ear looked like it's a little longer because he's gained weight. Obviously, look at his chin. Look at his face. Look thicker. But then, if you, like, really pay attention, he looks like... A blown up Valiant Thor right now, basically. If he takes the gra glasses off and he shaves that stupid mustache he got there, you'll see that he's a blown up Valiant Thor. All right. Yeah, and I am moving the camera again because again I'm not a professional. You don't. You guys don't like it? Don't watch it. I never said that this guy is Frank. All right. As you guys can see the difference, and I'm going to point it out to you. You don't see no hairline going inwards like I just showed you. See, this guy's hairline is different. It goes like this, and his hair does not look wavy. All right, look at his hairline. Just examine that, okay? 
and you can see that's not the same guy right here that's Frank Ernest Strangers like I've been pointing that out to you guys not the other guy who's Jesse Womble they used his head onto Frank's body you don't have to believe me though I just made that clear in my previous video when I told you that you can see that the newspaper supposedly that he had look look at the anomaly within the newspaper that doesn't make sense that clearly shows you that something happened in this photograph and the fact is what I've shown you guys that that is this guy right here Jesse Womble All right? you can see the hairline same hairline same face let's go slower same face now, I know you guys are gonna be like well that's not him well this is the source that said that of course that is Jesse Womble not clearly you guys can see that it's not Frank and I never said that's Frank Ernest Strangers I said that the other guy is Frank Ernest Strangers so it happens so it so happens that they use two guys okay to mask the true identity of Frank Ernest Strangers obviously so at one point you'll see Frank and then you'll see this guy Womble okay and as far as this guy's concerned listen here's for those that keep asking the question about I don't talk about this guy here this is supposed to be Val Valiant Thor right that doesn't look like Frank Ernest Strange's Val Valiant Thor or whatever right listen if you listen closely to what I said I told you that the reason this story does not add up either is because look as we're looking at his hands from this from this direction you can see that he does not have an additional thumb right right and you see that's the face of the guy he's either blonde or has gray hair supposedly right now this is the same guy right here Phil Snyder shows you these photographs okay and this is the Val Valley and Thor right here and as I move down you can clearly see that he does not have an additional finger and if you can't see it from how I'm showing it then you can go online yourself and you can see that this man does not have an additional finger making it six all right and this is the clearest picture you will see when you can see that the guy does not have six fingers like you know Philip Snyder claimed not only that like I told you guys already he said that the dude Val Valiant Thor is six feet tall right now even if that's true then why on some other occasions in his lecture he said he was eight feet tall clearly he doesn't look eight feet tall right there because if he's eight feet tall then that guy's like nine feet tall right there all right so you guys can get mad with me all you want and trying to say that this story makes more sense because of course Phil Snyder said that for 58 years this guy been working with the United States government however if you do your homework correctly you know and stop trying to make this story sound believable just because he's trying to show artifacts but he doesn't let no one handle them or he didn't ask the right questions to this so-called Val Valiant Thor why the hell would you ask this creature or person about his lung and his heart and how many fingers he got I don't care about none of that who gives a fuck right you mean to tell me that if you met an extraterrestrial being human looking at that that that's gonna be the question you're gonna be asking how much lungs you have how much hearts you have how much fingers you got come on man but then you're gonna sit there and say well Phil Snyder's Valiant Thor it's though it does not look like Frank Ernest Strange's Thor is the real Valiant Thor and hey sorry to shatter your story man but hey it's facts it's the fact right this story is a hoax too because again 
Philip Snyder borrowed this Valiant Thor from Frank. Frank Ernest Strangers was the first one to mention the name Valiant Thor in a book, in his lectures. He's the first one. So for you or anyone out there to try to say that Phil Snyder's telling the truth just because he said this guy been on Earth for 58 years, still it doesn't make no sense because first he claimed that the guy, he met him, but you would think he'd give you a lot more detail about what did he ask him or anything else, but he doesn't. He just go on and tells you about one lung, one giant sorry's lung, and I don't care about none of that. All right? The brain capacity of... Okay, who cares? That's not a question that you should be asking some supposed advanced civilization. You got to ask proper questions. Questions that make sense. You know? Like, where in the universe you come from? Or where did we come from? Or, you know? Things that make sense. I don't want to know his anatomy. Why? <laughs> What would that benefit us? You want to understand their technology. But no, you guys want to sit there and say that this is the real Val Valiant Thor. And for those of you that say, oh, well, you're trying to just point Frank Ernest Strangers as the only guy to say Valiant Thor and all this stuff. And he's wrong, but Phil's right. No, Phil, Phil Snyder is not right. He is also wrong that is a, this is a hoax all right do some homework guys okay because he claimed to be in the military but then he says that he changed his social security and all this other shit and there's a lot of things that don't make sense now you would think that if you got these artifacts right from an advanced civilization because as you go you guys can see in the youtube videos you will see that he got a couple all right he said to the people, they can look at it, but not handle them. Now, that doesn't make sense to me, because even if you don't want us to handle it, wouldn't you want to demonstrate for us that these things are what you say they are? Like, for instance, he was talking about that little thin uh, plating from a UFO that does you, you bend it, and then it comes back up open it opens up why didn't he demonstrate that for everyone ah oh, but he didn't right but yet he's telling the truth do i believe that something happened to philip snyder i would have to say yes something did happen to him but then ask yourself why all right although we may never know the facts i just don't believe phil was telling the truth in regards to this Val Valiant Thor uh, individual. You know, you know, it's it's sickening how these people just, you know, they come up with all this, and you know, you're discrediting people that really having these experiences, you know, or abductions. It's just sad, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, if, you, if you're if you messing it up for those that are really having these experiences and then being criticized because they have no proof. And that's what I'm saying. You know, for me, you have to have evidence, okay? Evidence, to me, verifies your story. This guy is Jesse Womble, and I'm going to continue to say it again, all right? So if you want to be examining the head, using this head with Frank and a stranger's head, that was the biggest mistake that you can ever do. Because the hairline will not be the same. As you guys can see here, he does not have that line going inward into his head. And he does not have wavy hair, as you guys can see. No wavy hair. No wavy hair. This guy... See, don't forget, this is Frank, of course. See the line? See the wavy hair right here? Huh? See the line right here? See the wavy hair? Oh, now you get it? But yet you're going to show the other head with Frank Ernest Stranger's head and then say, 
that that's not Frank Ernest changes. You are correct. But the fact is, you didn't use the real head, which is this one. That's Frank. Like, I showed y'all the real picture of what he looks like. Right there. That's Frank Ernest Strangers. I'm just telling you guys, don't think this is me, man. You look it up, and you'll see it yourselves. This is from the... The Bible Inst... The North Central Bible Institute in Minnesota, where he attended, okay? He was a member of it. This is the way he learned what he learned. I right, theology and stuff like that. This is him. And of course, later he puts a little mustache on and he'll put his little glasses on. And But this is Frank. But no, you guys are going to be like, well, that's not him. That's not Valiant Thor. Yes, it is. You guys just don't want to accept it. But it is him. All right. So let's do away with the nonsense. And as far as this concern, it's possible also that this is also a photograph where a doctored photograph, all right? Because supposedly it was taken in August of 1943. I already told you guys, look up the manipulation of photographs. Things like this have been happening for many, many years, guys many many years a lot of photographers they use that technique why you think in today's modern time you have celebrities getting upset because modern time photographers are putting their heads into different bodies and they don't like that I wouldn't like that either I like me for me so don't put my head on some other body but no, you guys don't believe that that's what I've been telling you guys all along. The Valiant Thor story, whether it be Frank Ernest Strange's story or Phil Steiner's story, is a hoax. It's a complete hoax. You think that you have the answers to tell me why it's not a hoax. I need you to explain to me why it's not a hoax. I've already showed you that that gentleman right there holding the newspaper with a note in front of it because as you guys saw from the other photographs he was taking notes and don't you find that odd that a you know a so-called advanced human looking Venusian <laughs> is gonna be writing notes think about that guys 